Hi everyone, it's Dr. Salce. Today we have Rachel here, and we're going to be talking with Rachel about what we'll be doing to get her well. Okay, so Rachel's at a desk a lot during the day, and are you in front of a computer as well? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And there's a lot of you out there that are in front of a computer and coming in with a lot of tension in the shoulders here and a lot of tightness right in the back here as well. And so we're going to show you some exercises with Rachel's help on how to alleviate that. Okay, so Rachel, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you just pull those back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, okay. keep your chest out, there you go, just like that, and go back. All right, now go straight ahead, now do it again. Let's have you do five of those. That's two, three, four, and five. Now, and I want you to actually come up towards, towards your face, okay. like this, okay? Let's have you do that. Okay. Uh-huh. All right, that's good form. That's actually getting this upper part of the rhomboids here. So these are her rhomboid muscles, and this gets weak on a lot of people, and we're strengthening this area here. That's gonna hold her adjustments better as well. Okay, very good. Now, the next one we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and work on getting the rest of these back muscles stronger here. And so when you're working out, have a day where you're doing back exercises and incorporate these exercises in your back exercise routine, okay? okay? All right, so let's get you to have a seat on the ball there facing out this way. Okay. okay, now when you have the bar, you don't want to have the bar go behind your head. You want to have it come down to mid-clavicle. You want to bring your chest out and you want to stay in a good neutral position. I don't want you to do this or do that. Okay. okay, so what she's doing right now is working her latissimus dorsi or her lats. And she's got great form. You can see her chest is out. Her posture looks really good. This is a great exercise to help you guys with your posture and holding your adjustments better as well. Uh, the other thing we find is that a lot of people have a lot of tension and tightness in their shoulders. So I'm going to show Rachel a few things that she can do while she's at work that can actually help with that and some things she can do at home. So Rachel, what I want you to do is face me. And what I want you to do is just let your head fall over to the side and take your hand here and just pull over just like that. You want to hold that for about 30 seconds, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's have you do the other side. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to let your head go down. And when you do this, I want you to tuck your chin and then let your head fall down like this. Then take your hand in the back of your head and just gently push forward. And you should feel that right through here. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Now, the other thing I want you to do is this. I'd like you to just take your head back and over to release this. So you're going to actually push up this way. Let me have you do that. And this is her scalenes. And the scalenes get very, very tense and tight. And they can block a lot of nerve energy in that area as well. And let's have you do the other side as well. Okay, that looks great. Okay, now a good tip is to do that in the shower with the hot water, and that will really release it really good for 30 to 60 seconds. Okay. Okay? All right. Now, the next thing we want to do is show you an exercise that you can do home while you're doing your workouts. Incorporate that into the ones that we just showed you. So this is for your trapezius muscle or your traps. Okay. So t what you're going to do is you're going to take these in your hand like this, and you're going to stick your chest out, you're going to get into a real neutral position, and then I want you to just come up and down just like that. Okay. okay, nice and slow. And let's have you do five of those. Just put them to the side. Okay, go ahead. Let's have you do that. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now a variation on that is for you to, from this position here, is just to go forward about 10 degrees here and then squeeze back behind you. Yeah, there you go. Now go ahead and squeeze back here. And now you're working your upper back and your rhomboids and we're strengthening that area for you. How's that feel? Good. You do those exercises that Rachel's been doing. Uh, I think it's going to really help you guys get better. And Rachel, I think that's really going to help you yeah. in your healing as well.